We just hit July. Two days in. We are now officially less than six months away from 2024 being a yesteryear. Just another set of 365 days, 12 months that went by, and you did, you did nothing. Your memory is still stuck, 1231 23. And you're still celebrating that New Year's party that you had. You got wasted getting your life together. Whether, whether it be fitness, goals, a better lifestyle, you promised yourself all of those things more money, career, you know, executing on things that you've been putting off. But you haven't done anything. And you haven't executed. Six months in, we are over halfway point. And you haven't taken action because why? Now, don't answer me. I ask myself this question every day and I realize I don't have enough time. I am on autopilot now to a point where I'm on the go. As soon as I wake up, my mind can't stop thinking about productivity and progress and success. Everything we do from here on towards the end of the year and onward, this can change our lives. Have you kept your promises? How far have you come? Have you set those goals? And if you did, what have you accomplished? You have six months. Let's just call it six months. So what do you plan to do now? really tightening up on your diet, your health, your decisions, taking these long walks and having these talks with yourself, cutting out those people, cutting out friendships, ending toxic relationships, whatever it is, it comes down to the single point of making that decision and executing on it. No judgment, whatever it is on your side, whatever you're battling with, this is the time to tackle it. The way I would approach this is I would break down these last six months into two chapters, four quarters, right? Your two quarters are gone. And if you've accomplished a few things, you're already on your way. That's the mindset you gotta have. One, it's not too late, but two, it's a progress check-in. It's like a media review at work. Where do you stand with yourself? Let's start there. And then start making a plan, writing those plans down, realistically setting targets and seeing what's achievable in the shortest amount of time, which means you may have to let go of some of those bad habits that are still lingering on, like drinking excessively, like staying up late. Two examples right there. As a byproduct, your sleep's all messed up. So if your sleep's all messed up, how can you focus? How can you execute? How can you think clearly? I just dropped like three bullet points for you that's value for you to think about that. You fix your sleep, you fix your diet, you fix your energy, you fix your mind, right? Those things will map over into your decision making. As a matter of fact, this year, I dropped off of YouTube. I got so into my head that I, end of March, I just stopped producing. And it happens to the best of us. It happens to everyone. But see, those last two months, I was in Miami two months ago. And sometimes it takes a trip like that. It was a work trip. But it, during that work trip, I realized and came to a conclusion that do I want to do a corporate job for the rest of my life. They're, they're, it's a great career path, don't get me wrong. But is, is this really what I want to do 20 years from now? Not necessarily. And so you got to feed your passions. You got to feed what drives you and act on, act on that. For example, turning on a camera and just being able to talk freely. You don't understand the joy. Outside of being judged, outside of what people may think or say, it doesn't matter because secretly what I found out, the feedback I'm getting is that, hey man, how can I be like that? How can I have your energy? Hey, how do I talk like that? Hey, how do I just turn the camera on and not get paralyzed? How do you seem so free spirited? Yet you guys don't know, gals and guys, how hard this was getting started. I just did a video about getting started, showing up. Cannot get that time back. But you can capitalize on what's ahead. And what's ahead is still a good chunk of the year. To grasp it and break it down this way. 365 days is a lot of time. Every day has 24 hours. Break it down to its finest parts. Every day has 24 hours. 
One hour is 60 minutes. Now break that down into six 10 minute increments. Okay, 60 minutes. Time, 10 minutes times six, 60 minutes. Write down 10 things that you could accomplish in 10 minutes. 10 things, realistically. For example, taking out your garbage. Walking all the way from your doorstep to the garbage can or dumpster. That's one. Lifting the uh, gallon of water and docking it at, the, uh, at your station. Exercising for 10 minutes, a 10 minute walk. That counts. Making yourself a quick, healthy breakfast like egg whites, protein, whatever. That's 10 minutes. Reading a few, few pages of a chapter. That's 10 minutes. Focused. Walking a dog. 10 minutes. So I just give you some very practical examples on how you can accomplish 10 things within one hour. And you realize how much time you actually have in the day. It all comes down to planning, writing it down. If you're behind, I would start writing it down. And then allocating time, putting it on calendar. There we go. Actually blocking your calendars out. You know, Outlook, whatever you email, lock it in. It'll remind you and execute. You're cheating yourself if you're not executing. And then watch how many things you slowly accomplish through the day. Now you times that by seven, times that by four, 28 days, 30 days in a month, 12 months, right? But we've already lost six. Now you got six more to go. This is how you make up ground is massive action. Take deliberate massive action, execute. Take deliberate massive action, execute. Write it down, execute. Write it down, execute. Think, take your walks. Maybe you fast, you start incorporating fasting into your life so you're not thinking about food all the time. Maybe you start walking a lot so you clear your head up. And as you walk and fast, now you're cooking. I'm excited, the journey that I'm on. You can see the joy. You gotta believe in your journey. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in your goals. No one else is gonna come and do it for you. No one else is gonna come save you. No one will. No one will tell you how. No one will tell you now. No one's going to see, look, look out for your best interest. No one's going to have your back like you. Only you. If you execute now, for the next six months, do not take it up. And I mean even the holidays. Give yourself a day. But if you go all in right now, six months from now, your life could be looking a whole lot different. Six months from now, you could be a, a, a very different person. Going into 2025, you could be a very dangerous person. You would be unrecognizable. And that's what I'm finding myself to be when I look in the mirror. This is not the same guy two months ago. I'm com uh, my brain is completely rewired because I compete with myself. Now it's on. Like I am into my body and soul and spirit. I'm aligned with what I want to do. The vision is just super clear i'm executing every day you can see it i'm dropping videos i'm walking with you i'm talking with you and i don't know who this is going to reach i don't know on whose home page this is going to appear and if you are watching this thank you welcome to the channel and understand it took me a lot of time to get to this point and there's a lot more to do six months to go let's go get it all right Mamba out.